We are live. Hello. Whether you are live or on the replay, thank you for joining me. We are going to jump into the updated ecosystems unit from the good and the beautiful. We'll go through the course book. Then we'll hit the student journals side by side before we hit the book pack and the optional older reader. And then this is the book that it was currently, at least when I purchased it, um, a free book with purchase while supplies last. So we'll cover that as well. If we haven't met yet, hi there, I'm Elaine from On the Same Page Together. We are a Christ-centered home of learning, and on this channel, we talk about all things family. We like to share it works for us as we strive to encourage you on your journey in life and family. Ecosystems, this has nine lessons. And there's the book pack. Optional reading book, supplies needed. If ever there's something you don't have, Check the lesson, see if it's an activity you want to do before you purchase anything. I like to just put a little flag on these and just review all of the words each time we add new ones. And if at any point you need me to speed up or slow down, there's a little settings, settings button down in the bottom right hand corner that you can adjust the speed of the video for. A quick little look at these. These means they're hands-on activities. This one lets you know, let's see, vocabulary, words. Here's where you're going to be in the student journal, right? In the student journal, yep. And then reminder for the lesson extension. Oh, artwork. Here's the answer key for student journal pages. Here you go. If you have a um, student journal page that is different between the younger version to the older version, they will make note of it for you for easier reference. I like that. Sometimes the journals are very, very similar. Sometimes they are, they have enough difference in them that um, if you're wanting to do the lesson extensions, you may want to get both if you only have younger kiddos, but we will cover that when we get into the journals. book. Let's look at the student journals. Now, if, bear with me if this gets a little awkward. I like to do them side by side for you. Again, if you are um, a family that has just younger kiddos but wants to do the lesson extensions with them, I like to do them family style with my kiddos. So if you're trying to compare which journal you need or if you could get away with just the one, that's why I try to do these side by side for you. So bear with me if it gets a little awkward. Okay. That looks exactly the same. Yep, those are exactly the same. And that's a different lesson. So here's the lesson extension. And if you have um, younger kiddos that need this book, but you would like them to do the lesson extension, like you'd like them to do the writing or whatever, you're welcome, you know, take a copy of this, hand it to them, give them a notepad, a notebook or whatever to write into, or think in the back of these sometimes they have extra note pages you could have them right back there and make it work for what your family needs but here's one differentiation which we saw there so let's see kiddos are going to write an a if the item is abiotic and a b if the item is biot item is biotic so they're just going to write a letter in the box here they are going to let's see write the name of each item in the correct box so it's not overly complicated. If you want just this older one, you can just have them draw a line or have them draw the letters. Either way works. We're still in lesson two there. That's lesson three though. So it looks like 
This is some extra stuff for the older kiddos for lesson two. And then there's the extension and getting into lesson three. We have, they're gonna be writing the words in versus drawing the line. Over here, they're gonna, this would be a cut and paste. And then here they would write it in. Again, always you can, you know, draw a line for either of those if that is what you need to do for your kiddos. There's even extra notes in this younger one. Interesting. Right there. So if you're doing that left this lesson extension, they could write their notes here. That's interesting. Okay, carbon carbon cycle. Pioneer of modern ecology. Okay, this looked familiar. Those are the same. Not the same thing over here. And then we have a lesson extension. And here you'll be having, they'll be writing in intraspecific intra and interspecific versus drawing lines. Ooh, problematic parasites. Okay, art study, the same. Those are the same. We got, oh, this is the same here, glue a photo. But they are, are the same. And then that's lesson eight, so we're gonna do a lesson extension. And then that looks to be the same. And same there too. Got the same thing. And then we have a, a longer lesson extension. And those two are the same. And here you're going to be drawing lines to primary and secondary, writing primary and secondary. And then lesson extension. And that's the end of that one. And the end of that one. So there are some differences, but they are similar enough that you could easily just go with this one if that's what you need for your family. Okay, book pack. We have, oh, sorry. Elf, owl, and his ecosystem, and then ecosystems in your, in our, in your backyard. Let's just quickly flip through these. A cute little story. In the desert, that's fun. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments now, or I will do a live Q&A at the end. I am always happy to answer any questions that you may have. I love being a part of your homeschool journey always an honor to be able to help any homeschool families with questions they may have. All right, and then in your backyard. Oh, those are colorful photographs. Hong Kong, okay, so different places. That's fun. All right, and the optional older reader. If you're wondering when I fit these in, our family does them um, before bed. We do a parent read aloud, my husband and I trade off. And on my nights, I like to do a little bit of a not quite nonfiction, but educational correlated with what we're learning or 
something educational, and then I will read in a novel. So they'll get two readings on my night. And then this is the one that came as a free book with purchase when I purchased mine. I'm not sure how long that's going to last. It's hard cover though. Beautiful pictures, beautiful photographs. There we go. Okay, it's just, you know, got the pictures and then little descriptions about each image. Okay. Oh, that's cool. A ribbon bookmark. That's kind of fun. I think I would I would do this probably um, during the lesson when we're covering these different types of areas. Like I, there was an like a aquatic kind of thing, and I would see if I could fit this in to those, and then just read what's left when we're done. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. I had just got done flipping through the birds unit as well right before this video. So I will have that linked in the description box as soon as that link is ready. And up until this point, any updated or brand new curriculum that they have released, the Good and Beautiful has released with the student journals. I have done a flip through just like this of. And so I will link that playlist in the description box for you. And I'm actually going to hop back on in a few and start doing some math course sets, flip throughs. I have a few on my channel already, and then I'm just going to fill in some gaps tonight to get you Simply Good and Beautiful K through five, I believe is what we're going to have by the end of this. And so I'm going to hop back off. I hope you have a wonderful evening and I will see you in a few. Bye.